just filmed myself making a um, lucky seven dress and it turned out to be quite a long video so I'm just going to do a short one again. This is a pair of our classic undies in our mermaid everyday bamboo. Um, I've already roll hemmed the gusset just because it's a whole other setup and it's not even really that necessary. We have some pairs that Amanda made and the gusset isn't surged and they've held up just fine. It's just something I like to do. Uh, so right sides together, front and back, and I'm going to stitch the side seam. the crotch I put the gusset down right side of the gusset to the wrong side of the front and stitch there and that way the seam that attaches the front to the back and the gusset will be sandwiched between the gusset and the inside of the underwear. up the other side. Except for my layers are just getting twisty. And then I'm going to seam the waistband together. themselves obviously not to each other that would be exciting on the waistband free and the back of the waistband seam I just snip into the seam allowance a bit but not all the way um, to the far stitch so that I can offset this seam and just reduce bulk a little bit so one part of the seam allowance goes this way and the other goes the other way and I pin that and then I pin center front. And I'm going to um, pin center pin my waistband to center back of the undies so that's where those seams are offset and then find center front on the undies and then bring the waistband to that point Oops, twisted. Not good. So. I like to have the waistband, like the smaller thing inside the larger thing when I'm distributing fullness. Like this waistband is much smaller than the body of the underwear. So I'll pull the um, extra fullness to the sides and then pin that side seam to the waistband. And that's just how I distribute fullness is just making sure it's even in this case. 
all the way around. So I'm pulling the excess to the sides and pinning the center. And the larger the garment is, the more tricky that is. So um, it's good that I have a tiny pair of underwear here to show you, but it just means more time. Okay, so on the other side again, I'm pulling the, the whole side equally apart and pinning the side seam. And then again at the front. And at the back. And then I'm going to stitch on the waistband. So since we have a seam here, I'm folding both of my seam allowance edges to one side and then offsetting with this seam here. There's no clipping. And I usually find that the opposite point on these underwear is about one inch beyond the gusset seam. So so that's opposite to where it meets the leg the side. These leg bands are approximately the size of the opening, so there's not really distributing fullness. It's just meeting up all the edges. So I find about four pins does me just fine. second leg band, so I'm putting both seam allowances going this way and this one going this way.
finding my opposite point and then pinning it one inch beyond the gusset seam. Now in this direction, it can be a little bit trickier to catch the corner of the gusset, so that's actually where I start my seam. So I'll put another pin in this side here, where last time I would have just started sewing. And then I'll put the um, this spot where the gusset meets the leg band and the undies underneath the presser foot. And I just I use the presser foot as a clamp pretty often just to hold something. So sometimes I'll start sewing and then I arrange things using the presser foot to just hold, thing, hold the layers in place. So you can see there's no gumming up there. It, it did pretty well. Tail is caught there. Okay. And that's our undies. Hmm? were ordered to match a pretty cute little dress so I think in case of a windy day this lady is very well has it very well planned all right thank you so much bye